Well, here it is. A couple hours left of my vacation. Here in Hawaii. I mean, it's a cloudy day, but it's still better than anything we have in Virginia right now. I hear about the winter weather advisories and the snow and the ice. I'm calling out sick. I'm not coming back. I want to stay right here. I mean, it's beautiful out here. Uh, what can I say about it? I mean, this place is dotted with tons and tons of parks. Everywhere, anywhere on the seashore, there is a park. I mean, look at this. They got gazebos. There's like five of them here. You know, and during the busy times of the year, they have lifeguards out here. I mean, look at all the black vol uh, Vulcan, Vulcan rock or whatever, lava you want to call it. They're everywhere. Lava flows are everywhere. I mean, on this part of, this, of the island, you don't see too much of them. Most of it's been covered up by vegetation. But if you go out west or south of here, just miles and miles of lava flows. You, you just see all black with an occasional splash of green somewhere. But uh, look at this beach here. I mean, <laughs> it's all rocks. They have some sand down there for some children down this way. They have a little kiddie pool area, you know. And uh, they brought in some yellow sand. So not as beautiful as the black sand beaches I've been to in some of the places. But uh, people out here love to hang out at their beaches. I mean, they love their beaches. I, I mean... There's right now at least 50, 60 people at this one beach uh, park. And if I go, and I've already hit three others before I got to this one, and they're all within five miles. There's like one more between where I'm at and my hotel, and it's only two and a half miles. So you got like five parks. You know, they all offer different facilities. This one offers the most with all these canopies and all that stuff. They're all open until 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, which is about sunset around here. But I was driving around at night, creeping around, and I see people out there at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Still hanging out. I love the big sign saying, no alcohol. Everybody's out there drinking, though. So it looks like a lot of people at night, they just pack up a uh, lunch or dinner, get themselves some drinks, and then they bring them out here. And they just hang out and just shoot the breeze. I mean, yes, you do see people swimming. But uh, a lot of people just like to hang out at the beach. There's nothing else to do. Uh, at least it's not expensive. You, know, you don't have to pay to get into these parks or show ID or anything to prove that you're a state resident or a county resident. You, you, you just pull in. I mean, I mean it's beautiful. I, how they even offer showers here to wash off all the salt off of you. Uh... Everything's eco-friendly here to the max. I went to the supermarket, Safeway. Went and bought some liquor. They had paper bags. I hadn't seen paper bags in years. And I didn't see plastic either. I went to Walmart, check out, start ringing up my items, and looked around. There was no bags. I left my bag. I had one with me. I brought with me because I thought, eh, people would be like that. But I wasn't intending to buy anything. I ended up walking out with 10 items out of Walmart. And buying one of those little bags for 50 cents. I thought about walking out with all my items in my hand, but that would be a pain to walk around. And people are looking at you like, did you steal that? I mean, here you got a receipt and all these things in your arms. So, fine. 50 cents, buy a bag. And I saw people bring bags in with them. So, you know, I don't see any trash laying around. I don't see a mess. Uh, everybody around here is... Hang ten, man. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's beaches everywhere. It's just, it's, look at this. You can see waves crashing in. Down there's a little kiddie pool right down there. A couple people down there with their children. Uh, there's no lifeguard on duty right now, but I have seen some beaches with lifeguards. The more busier ones. So, well, this is me, Cregan, signing off. I will see some of you guys Friday or Saturday. 
Hopefully the snow would just disappear when I get there, but I doubt that. In a few hours, I'll be on a plane to L.A., and then from L.A. to D.C. I'll be home about 5 p.m. in the afternoon, about 24 hours from now. So, I'll right, catch you later. You guys be safe. See you. Bye.